some more of the circus posters. Kind of neat little group of paper. This is all that we have and we'll have to sell. So once these are gone, they're gone. TWA, some neat photos here. We never could figure this out, but there's some neat stuff from Philadelphia here from 44. Some neat goodies there. Like the old 7 Oak Coolers, kind of a nice old piece. Some interesting odds and ends here. These illustrations probably done during the wartime. I really want to make that a beer ad somehow. I want to like, you know, Schlitz or PBR in the upper left there, and, but we won't. Some neat California pottery, some Christ, some just uh, 40s, 50s pots. These are awesome. Set of six, cast iron, bracket, oil lights, oil light fixtures there. And I'm not sure what kind of globe they would have had on them. They must have had something to keep the light, the flame from just being raw. This one is missing the little clips around the pipe there. But uh, set of six, how often do you see that? Uh, not very. Good glasswork, Tiffin, Twilight Blue, nice little group of that. Never did ID this set, but it's really kind of cool. A little Del Robia style there, big set, top two shelves minus the Twilight color there. Beautiful oil lamp, that thing's huge. Nice little group of uh, Victorian satin. Nice Asian artwork. See Asian and African touristy type things. And this big blue and white vase is cool. Look how crooked that is. <laughs> There's nice and big cloisonne cinnabar. Once was an expensive cello. Could be repaired. The neck is just need to be repaired there. Repl replaced, repaired. But the uh, board has cracks in it, unfortunately. The beginning of the Native American collection. Mini Titus from Alaska, 1968. This is a great birch basket here. Check out that just simple form. Love the waviness on the bottom, the knots in it. It's a great, just a great feeling piece. Some nice little odds and ends of Sarah and Clara pots. This is a cool nesting four tier little nesting pocket. Great looking basket here. Another nice basket. It's kind of a nice little seed pot. Other items in the case is just uh, just some neat odds and ends, some you know fountain pens, a little bit of jewelry, some beadwork, strolling clowns, kind of cool. That's neat. The uh, plastic sailor and anchor pins there. That's a cool box of uh, black glass cabinet hardware from the 40s. Neat pot. Great little Native American pot. Peruvian silver, 900 silver frames. That big one is big. Uh, I think that's a Nampeo piece there. The vase in the back has a frog mark on the bottom. Look at the pictures, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this flower frog here came out of the Kansas City, Kansas estate. It looks like a good German Wiener Werkstatt era piece. It just has a lot going on there. Real great cubist, impressionist, modernist type. Canadian uh, stone carvings. Some neat odds and ends, some little carvings there. Neat little uh, silver ring. Side off. Take a look at that. It looks like a nice little pearl on silver. Here's the thrust of the Native American pots. Sigawanu and Stella. Well, Sean, Sanron, Roy, Roy, and Quapovai, Tanner Pot there. Love the turquoise inlay for the eyes. Uh, this is a Garcia, I think. Iris Nampeo. Naranjo. Naranjo. This is another Naranjo. This here is a Fanny Nampeo. Uh, the wedding ring is... Uh, Marie Chino, I think. Great pot. Great pot. Love the silver belt. A couple little pieces of jewelry. Last couple pieces of native stuff on the back table is the Tlingit basket. It is just wonderful. Great color, great paint. 
all four sides direct carated, signed on the bottom with initials. With uh, some really nice artwork in the auction as well. The nice Kansas Blizzard painting by Donnie Murphy has an exhibit label on the back. Cyril Lewis, American Watercolor Society, watercolor painting. A pair of Chinese elders. Watercolors are nice. This is a painting on a porcelain plaque and a great Empire style frame. This is uh, Ruth Penigo. This painting here, it looks like Podra Barrick to me, but we never could figure out or ID it. Again, the bird situation up front. <sighs> so we got, we got some cleaning to do. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Neat deco piece there. Oh, and then the Victorian art class. A couple of pieces of art. Love that. I'm sure it's a Czechoslovakian Santa Claus. Northwood Sugar. We have from the left Wheeling Peach Blow. Some nice case pieces. It's probably Mount Washington Peach Blow. This probably a, could be an early piece, but it may also be Fenton. Not sure what this is back here. Uh, Really good looking piece of glass though. Uh, consigner said that was Lawton. There's no marks on it, but it certainly looks like it could be. A couple of the Murano figures there. Nice blue horses. Shireholtz, more likely on the vase lamp. This piece here is also signed and numbered. Some good art glass. But wait, there's more. The Salviati style vase here, Italian. Nice. Figural candlesticks, Murano. Ah, the Bimini. Zaftig Nudes Bimini glass decanter set. We got the bottle and the three stems. Ah, this set is cool. This is the uh, Olivician Haynes Ware, Baltimore. Hard to find pattern in them. And a uh, single piece here, I think, sold for 180. We have more currently found. Stranic Art Studio, Vantelligen. This is uh, Bendel Love Bugs. More ceramic arts. This is a cool piece. The Jack O'Hara Wyeth comes to the Nelson. Great pencil sign. Only 20 done, 19 of 20. So, uh, man, that's 15, 16 years old already. 1996. So, cool glass platform. Some nice plates. Little uh, nice cross swords piece there. These are great Stevens. Stephen Graffs or woven silk pictures. Nice collection. Love the fencers back there. The sandwich. Aren't these awesome? Curtain tiebacks or drawer pulls, either one. Some nice 50s pottery. More ceramic art studio. Abingdon, Cash Parent Family, Stangle, Czech. The Ram does have a repaired chip, unfortunately. Nice brossed off piece. Zona, is that it? Yona. Yona pottery, the vase and the figure are the same sewn together. Nice little uh, Indian figure here. This piece is cool, this textile. I don't know if it's Native American or African or just fiber. It is signed BC on the bottom right. Nice little yay rug. More good wax textiles. Love the natural hip dyes here. On this side, another couple of nice weavings, including the piece here by Begay. Picture of her with it and the original receipt from Lena Begay. So, you know, that piece was done by her with the original receipt, so that's hard to find because if it wasn't with it, we would never know who did it. Really nice weavings on these two little rugs up front. Great patterns, and this is a double weave. Back is a completely different you know, pattern than the front. Similar, but uh, different as well. So you don't see the crosses on the back side. Well, like I said, it's going to be an exciting Tuesday night. Lots of good, not a lot of junk. Which is exactly what we like. We feel it's what you like. So Saturday morning, I'm off to Garnet, Kansas to do an appraisal fair like we did a few weeks ago with KCPT. So if you're down that way, come on out. Look forward to seeing you at Tuesday or will have been or Saturday morning. 
Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers watching this. If you're a husband or son, daughter of a mother who has not gotten your mother a gift yet, take the opportunity to do so now before Sunday comes and goes. If Sunday does come and go, though, we have some things you might like for her. So uh, have a great weekend. We will see you Tuesday. And have a good night.